I will tell you my story. How that I was preserved. And then saved to serve. And then you may be able to piece it together. And see your own story. Preserved. And saved. In order to serve him. Preserved from calamities. How God used illness that developed in me in 1961. Pile to save me from going to the army and dying. In 1961, I developed pile. And then I showed my uncle. My uncle didn't know what to do. And then 1962, 1963, 1964, I went to government technical college. And the team began to develop and began to protrude. And in 1965, I went to the hospital. This uh, general hospital that transformed into UNTH. And I remember Dr. Erushalo, champion of surgery, inspected it with the medical students and said, my friend is not yet ripe for, for surgery. And then began to give me anosol suppositories to, 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 to reduce the pain if it should push out. And then the thing I was uh, struggling with it. Oh my God in heaven. If he pushes out he will be as good as dead. And then. I became born again. 1965 the thing blew. 1975 became born again. And the thing was still there. But then during the war. He saved me. Praise God. If God had healed me at the hand of Eru, I would have gone to the war and then maybe I may have been there. So we were in the militia at the, the, the Dennis Memorial Grammar School. And then they came and said they are now enlisting those that went to technical school into the army engineers. And then we were all enlisted. And then we went to Paul Gaya Secondary School, the training camp. And then there, something happened. I traveled home and came back. And the next batch of people, I was in that batch to go to medical examination. And then as I came back, they said, Aloysius, your batch is going tomorrow. You're among the people. The first batch has gone. And then I was looking at myself. I said, these people will discover the pile. And they will not allow somebody that has pile to enter the army. What then am I doing here? I shouldn't be here. I packed my bag and baggage and went home. God used pile to save me. Do you know another thing that happened? One of the days I was going to Hala. And then the conscriptors rounded us up. And every young man they saw on the road, all of you inside the vehicle, wow. and then they landed us at the Air Force Base in my home there at the gas school. Conscription, you must go to the army, either Air Force or Army by force. And then, as we reached there, in fact, before we before they herded us into the vehicle, they were kicking, kicking us. And then as the, the, uh, the, the boot man, the soldier was kicking everybody. And then I said, excuse me. And he said, yes. I said, I have pile. He said, okay. He didn't kick me again. Then we landed here. And then, you know what I did? I requested to see the officer in charge. And somebody said, you want to see the officer? I said, I want to see the officer. He said, okay, that is his place. I went there and knocked at the door. And then the man said, yes. I came in and I said, excuse me, sir. I have pie. I said, the man said, go home to your house. Praise God. That's how God used pie. Which I wanted him to take away. To save me from going to the army. And if I had gone, there would be no watchman. The Lord is him remios. So he preserved me. I told you I plunged into the river that has, that has a swiftness. And I didn't know it was deep, headlong, to catch the gravel. 
And then I didn't know the mechanisms. And I couldn't come out. And I was suffocating. I was drinking water already. Was to die until I hit the, the air by struggling. And it's preserved me. And then later on, many years after, he saved me. So he don't want me to serve him. For you, he preserved you. And then you said that you are saved in order to serve yourself. For me, he preserved me and saved me to serve him and to live with him eternally. Who is on the side of the vision? The God of Heaven brings Enugu State to the hilltop proper in a divine visitation that will turn around the fortunes of the land of Enugu and the people. Experience it yourself. It will happen live at Okmara Square, Independence Layout, Enugu, from Thursday, 12th to Sunday, 15th April, 2018. Time, 3 p.m. daily. There will be free transportation from different parts of Enugu Metropolis. God's instrument for this visitation is the voice of the last day's ministry. Watchman Catholic Charismatic Renewal Movement ministering as Pastor A.C. Ohanebo and a host of God's man angels. Make it a date with the Almighty. Be there with your family and friends. This event will air live on Dove TV.